How's it going, YouTube? Eddie here. It's been a while. What? Are you guys laughing? YouTube. Today we're going to try to replace this medicine cabinet. I suspect this medicine cabinet is about 50 years old. I think it was original to the house. The reason why we're replacing it, you can see it's full of stains. Uh, it's got about a thousand coats of paint on it. It's just looking old and tired, so it's time for an upgrade. Um, recently, my wife and I, we refurbished our kids' bathroom, which is where this came from, and um, we, we went to Home Depot, I grabbed a medicine cabinet, came home and put it in the hole in the wall. Well, it turns out that hole in the wall is about 27 and a half inches tall and it's a lot taller than your standard uh, medicine cabinet. So to replace this has to be a custom bill. Um, we're gonna make it out of uh, black walnut. Uh, it shouldn't be too difficult. Everything's square, everything's 90 degrees. The only thing is, uh, because my wife has an unhealthy addiction to the pointer dog breed, she's insisting that I have a dog inlay on the door. So we're going to use the CNC to get that done. So let's get busy. Okay, like I said before, we're using black walnut. Uh, in the next few scenes, it's just me milling up the wood. I'm not going to spend too much time on it because it's a boring process. But basically, you're just cutting the, the pieces to the proper length and width and make, making sure that they're flat and parallel and square. Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm drilling the shelf pin holes. I'm using a jig uh, by a company called Craig. Um, if you're a DIYer and you're building cabinets, this is an absolute must have because this process can be extremely frustrating without a jig. The jig just makes it quick, easy, accurate, and it's re relatively inexpensive and I highly recommend it. Okay, here we're using dowels to assemble the flange piece of the cabinet. This flange is going to go on top of the box. It's going to cover it up. This is also the piece that the door is going to be attached to.
Okay, here I'm gluing up two boards that's going to make up the panel to the door. Um, I'm, what I attempted to do here was book match the sapwood edges, and I think it did a pretty good job. It came out pretty decent. Okay, time to cut the inlay. The CNC makes real quick work of this process. Here we're cutting the profile of what will be a German short-haired pointer. We have three of them. So my wife is insisting on this inlay and you know the saying, happy wife, happy life. So basically I have no say in this. <laughs> um, the mirror image of this uh, the mirror image of this profile will be a pocket made of hard maple and that should make a pretty nice contrast. Okay, here we're gluing the door together. When doing this, you want to make sure that you only glue where the rails meet the styles because basically you want a floating panel. And this is because you want to allow for expansion and contraction. And if I glued the panel all around, the panel would ultimately crack and we obviously don't want that. Okay, I'm applying a finish called Rubio Monaco. I can't recommend this stuff enough. I, I know I sound like an, an advertisement for the company, and obviously I'm not. It's just I'm so impressed with it. It's not cheap. It's 60 bucks for a little three and a half ounce can. But boy, what a difference it makes. It, it really brings out a, a richness and a warmth to the black walnut that I just haven't found with anything else. It looks fantastic.
so uh, I think we're done and I think it looks great. Um, the reason why I made a custom medicine cabinet for this bathroom is because when we were redoing it, I actually went to Home Depot, I bought a medicine cabinet from Home Depot, put it in the hole, and it turns out the, the hole is 27 and a half inches tall, which is a lot taller than your, than your standard medicine cabinet. So I'm glad it didn't fit because I wouldn't have had this. And again, this is black walnut. I put that Rubio Monaco on the black walnut. And I think you'll agree. It just looks rich and warm. And I think it looks fantastic. Um, overall, from a technical perspective, it wasn't too difficult. Everything's 90 degrees. The box, the door, everything is 90 degrees. So that wasn't too technical. I, did have, I do have the inlay, of course, but the CNC, that made quick work out of, out of the... Um, the inlay using the CNC. I'm not going to tell my wife how easy it is though because then I'm going to have pointer everything all over the house and it's just going to feed her unhealthy addiction to everything pointers. That's another video. Um, in any event, uh, again, I think it looks great. Guys, if you're new to the channel, I would appreciate if you hit that like button if you think I deserved it and hit that subscribe button if you think I deserved it. And we'll see you guys next time. Take care.